Hi there, Bob from Insidium here. It's Top Tip Tuesday. And on today's video, we're going to be jumping into Teo. And I'm going to show you a cool trick of how you can get Teo grass to spawn on any scene object. But we can also get that grass to avoid other scene objects like rocks, for example. So let's get that clock started and we'll go. Here we have a simple terraform effects terrain with a noise making this landscape. This is what we're going to create our grass on. So let's go to Insidium, Teo, and we'll go to Teo Grass. The grass says which object you want to generate on. So let's drag in our TF terrain. Now, because our terrain is three dimensional, we're getting these spline grass um, effects on the top but also we're getting them generated on the sides and the underneath so we can fix that if we come down to our grass layer to our generation look if we uh, decrease the slope max to say just 89 degrees it means that it can no longer be born on these 90 degree angles so that's off and then to get rid of it from the bottom all we need to do is raise the height min just raise it from the zero percentage just up to 0.1 and even that is enough to only have it now being generated on the top excellent now we want to change this we don't want this to be grass splines we want this to be geometry so let's go to our geometry tab and we'll change it from spline to polygon object let's make some adjustments we'll make the width 0.5 and we'll make the height a lot bigger something like that and that's looking cool let's just add a few more segments and we will add a little bit of uh, bend variation so they'll all just be bending slightly differently and then that'll do us so we've got this nice bit of grass now we can add more variation to the density of the distribution of this grass or to the length or to both with these really cool controls at the top of our object tab in the tail grass so look we're going to use a texture source to drive not the density of the grass but the length and we're going to use a noise to do that so let's go to our shader and pick a noise and now to make this more obvious let's just go into our noise and we're going to increase the low clip decrease the high clip so we have really um, added contrast to that noise it's almost either black or white and you can see the black parts have got very short stubs of grass and the white parts haven't now we don't want it to be quite as pronounced as this so we need to lighten these darker bits so we can just go to this black color and look just make it a gray instead and look you can see our grass in those areas is growing or shrinking so something like that is looking cool and now we've got this uh, much more kind of realistic kind of patchy grass let's just do one more thing we'll go into the tail grass and let's increase the density from the default 100 percent to say 300 so we've got way more blades okay and then we'll add um, a material to this let's go to our materials tab of our grass layer and in our material manager I've got two materials that we can drag in and this will randomly distribute those in our bit blades of grass so that's looking nice right so we're gonna learn how to avoid objects with this grass so let's go to insidium terraform effects it's got a brilliant procedural rock generator TF rock let's bring one in now we're not going to go over all of the controls of this if I lift it up there's our TF rock we'll go to our material manager we're going to make a copy of the material we're using on the landscape so let's make a copy of that stick it on our rock and in that material we'll just make it slightly less brown okay good and then in our TF rock settings let's get the size in the Y and make it jut up so we've got something like a more kind of monument stone from the uh, prehistoric times and uh, let's lower that down into our grass so there we've got this cool stone in our grass but we can set the grass to avoid this stone let's go to our tail grass to set that up we'll go to the avoid objects tab and we can drag in our tf rock and now if we make that tf rock invisible look let's click this visibility icon and go into the display mode and switch off the avoid objects now that's invisible but you can see look our grass isn't growing in that patch and we can increase the distance from objects to spread that out let's just look at our um, rock again 
So that's pretty cool. The other option, though, which is really neat, is instead of just culling them, we can get the grass to kind of grow around the edge of our stone. And that's by changing this mode from cull to repel. Now, it's a subtle difference, but you'll see that when we contract this in this distance back into the rock instead of these blades just being culled we're kind of getting this growing and wrapping around the stone if i change it to cull it just gets rid of it put it to repel and the outer ones kind of wrap around our avoid object so that's a really quick basic setup of how to get grass to avoid scene objects like stones in your scenes